All right, squad, in this episode, I'm gonna quickly add an RSS feed parser to my personal portfolio website using Next.js so that we can pull in our new latest podcast from Spotify and then we can show them. So I'm gonna quickly give you a look at what that looks like. So the end result is we are pulling in our podcast episodes and then we're linking these out into Spotify and it's all being fed through. So as we add episodes to Spotify, these come through. I don't have to manually add them. They're just gonna keep coming through from this feed here. And we're just passing that with the RSS parser gem, which we install here and run it in get server props because this is an older version of Next.js without app router and display it on a website. So let's jump in. All right, so I found this package over here called RSS parser. So it's an RSS feed parser, quite simple. Um, it looks like it's got, it's reasonably maintained six months ago. So it's, it's something that I'm gonna use. I think I'll just grab that one straight away. So what we're gonna do here is just go and add that package. So let me just close this tab, open a new one here. So we're gonna go yarn add, and then let's just grab, so it's called RSS parser, chuck that in. Hopefully this can work on the front end as well. I haven't tried, I haven't seen that yet, but let's give it a go. So let us do its thing. Okay, that's installed now. So I'm running it over here. Um, let's just double check, RSS parser installed version 311, perfect. So now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go into this podcast page and this is running the old uh, next pages router so not this is because I built this a couple of year, uh, year or so ago but let's have a look here so what we want to do is we want to use this get server side props function so that we can go and grab the data that we need we don't need this and we don't need this right now, okay? So we're gonna use this function here, the get server size props. Now, if you're running this in the app router, you can obviously do it quite a lot better, but we don't have that luxury right now. So what we're gonna do is let's use, so we're gonna import parser from RSS parser, okay? Grab that. Now, we're gonna create a new parser, and I think we can do that inside of here. Um, we don't need it to define the type yet. I'm not too interested in that. Don't need any custom fields. So let's just create a brand new parser. It looks like cursor knows what's going on here. Please don't tell me that oh, that's not my right URL, but this is the URL that we're gonna use here. Now you could set this as an environment variable if you wanted to keep it flexible, but because I'm using it just for my own website, I'm gonna put it there. And then let's console log this feed and see what we actually get. So if we now jump in here and let's refresh this page. There we go, that was really fast. So what we've got now is a list of items, which is really cool. Um, and it's got basically each podcast here. So it's got the creator, the title, the link. What else do we have? Content. Let's have a look at this actual thing, um, the actual feed. Does it have a picture, the picture one? I'm also interested in showing the picture. So it's got iTunes stuff here. So this is obviously relative to iTunes. And then it's got an image box here. So why are we not getting the image? So we've got the link and then the image is what we also want because we want this, we want this URL here so we can actually grab this guy. Okay, so we can actually display that. Um, okay, so that's cool. But the, the, that's a great start. So if we now go here, let's just have a look. Feed has items and what else does it have in it? nothing else. So what we could probably do is we could just grab the items. So here we can say um, episodes is equal to feed items. Probably need to just do that just in case we don't actually get anything. But now what we should see is we should get the prop episodes. And why do we have children here? We probably don't need children. Let's get rid of you. And then what we can do is here just console log episodes just for, you know, to make sure we got something. And this is, I'm just gonna go object array here because I'm not too fussed with this right now. Let's have a look at what we're getting. So if we jump in, cool. So we got two here, all right? So we can already start looping through these. <clears throat> so we'll probably shove them into, I'm gonna put them in a box here and we can map through them. We do need a key here, so uh, episode.g, do we have GUID? Look, uh, GUID, there we go, so that's what we need. So we're gonna use that as our key, that's fine. And then we need our title, episode title, episode link, 
Wonderful. Let's see if we can get, oh, there we go. We got it already. Perfect. Okay. So we're already getting our podcast through. Now what we could do, let's have a look here because we need to style this as well. But like, there we go. We're actually already, we've got the feed and it took like what, um, two minutes. But we're busy seeing the feed here and I want to just probably just say direction column. That's what we want. Okay, we don't probably need this margin top. Okay, that's good. So H2s and then we've got the links to each episode. So what we could probably do is say, listen to episode here, great. Or link to episode even. You know what, I'm gonna say link, listen on Spotify, okay? So we got that. Now, let's see, does it have YouTube in here? No, so it doesn't put that in there, but this image now, we need to get this image. So let's have a look at how we can do that. So just looking at the docs here, it looks like we can pass in the custom fields if our fields aren't currently returned. So let's jump back into here and let's just make sure that we actually get this. So we want item and we want, so it's inside the item. Is that, no, that's the channel, okay. Where is the picture? We need the actual image. Uh, I wonder if that's not actually available. iTunes image. Okay. But that's still part of the channel. Uh, iTunes image, there it is. Okay, so that's... I wonder why Spotify doesn't show that. Yep, that's right. That's the one. That's what we want. Massive image though. Um, that's not ideal. Okay, so it's an iTunes image. Now, how do we access that? Let's see. Can we do iTunes image? Yeah, thank you. Now, let's have a look at our feed and just see if we're getting that. There we go. iTunes image. Oh, so it actually is nested inside of iTunes image as well. All right, so we probably don't actually need the custom field. Let's get rid of that, give that a go, and let's see if it's still there. iTunes image. Okay, so it is nested. It's just nested inside of that. Okay, great. So what we can do here is we could possibly copy how we do for projects. Not projects, sorry. Um, let's see, do we have a description? We do have a description as well. So, because I do have in my blog, I have this style here. So or we could run with like a side by side, probably a side by side. So let's go into here. So we're gonna look at um, projects and then look at the project tile. So we need to make a new component. So let's make a new component and we're gonna call this one podcast episode. If I can spell tile slash index dot TSX. And then we're gonna grab our project tile. Just gonna paste that there so we can grab the same thing. Podcast episode tile and this is going to be episode okay and this is from pages and we're going to call this podcast and it's going to be called podcast episode so this is where we can actually define our types where are you chief so this came from pages okay yep so we need to just double check this projects page here so we've got this there we go we're exporting that type so let's export the same and this is going to be called podcast episode. And then we can just basically say episodes is that. That's what we we're expecting. So what are we going to use out of it? So we're going to use the link, the GUID and the title so far. So the GUID and then we're going to say title. Yep, that's fine. And link, right? So that's what we have so far. That's now a podcast episode. That's a podcast. Everything looks great. No type errors. Cool, so we're gonna go episode, so we're gonna go title. We're gonna to need to add description, so let's go add that back there, which is a string as well. And we also need to make sure that we have our image. So that's gonna be iTunes, and then it's, there we go, image string, perfect, that's it. So we can also say iTunes image and link, great. So what do we have so far? So this is just gonna be image, not image URL. Form. Um, and then title description and this is not project URL but this is link 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 and then we can say is external right 
Now that looks like it's right. Let's give it a go. We just have to make sure because our image is going to be a square. Let's have a look here. We also need to use that in, obviously. So let's grab it. That's it. Good on ya. And now instead of creating this one, we're just going to map this. What is going to sit? What's the problem? Invalid source prop. Come on, man. So we just got this not configured issue. So if we just go into our next config, just to allow it here, which is annoying because I just hope that this domain stays the same. You know, I wonder if we can just say, can we do that? So it actually wants that. I hope that it just doesn't change the CDN because that's going to stuff us up. So let's just go here. All right. So it's probably, yeah, there it is. Big ass images. Um, doesn't look that good, does it? So let's just try fix this up. Um, so we need to fix the size of the picture. So that is inside of this podcast episode tile. So here's the picture width. Width should be 180. Realistically, we need to actually have a um, ratio. So it's aspect ratio and it's one. That's really what we want. And then we can get rid of that. And then whatever the width is, it should maintain its aspect. There we go. So that's good. All right, so now we just have to check what's going on here with the margin bottom. So that up. Something else is growing too much here as well. Title. And then this, we just want to say, listen to episode again. Sit and listen on Spotify. We also want our description. So now we have to just see why the episode description is not coming through. So we've got item description. There's so let's just have a look at what's going on here. What are you doing? So we got... It has an included description. All right, so let's open that up. We're going to custom fields, item, and then we're going to say description here. Go away. I don't want that. Oh, man. Go away. <laughs> okay, so we've got a P tag in there, which we don't want. Why is there a P tag? That is really annoying. Okay, I'm going to have to solve that one. That's super annoying. Let's see what's going on here. So... We can chuck, before we do this, let's give this a margin top of eight, which I got rid of earlier. Okay. Then what we want to do is actually that content. So there's a big padding under here for some reason. So that's the picture, which is, and what's going on here? So that's got a big padding on that guy, padding bottom. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Margin bottom, get rid of that. Okay, so now we're nice and tight, which is good. We can start working with what we need. And then what we want to do here is also we want to uh, just, I think because we're running column, justify content, and it's not space between, but it's actually going to be center. Um, let's see, this should all be centered as well. Don't have any margins on that. Let's go item, align items, center. That's it there. So it's align items, center, cool. Don't need that one. Sort these guys. Okay, so we can give a little bit of padding. And what we'll do is because we are using a flex box here, let's give it some gap of four, probably. Let's try that. Okay, and then we just need a padding of four on the bottom. And then that should give us pretty sweet look. There we go. Excellent. So there we go. We got our podcast listed out, which is awesome. With the little picture. Uh, that's great. And now what we just need to do is we need to actually somehow figure out how to get rid of this P tag. I wonder, do we have a iTunes description, iTunes summary. Let's try the iTunes summary. It's going to complain that it doesn't exist, but let's just try that. Does that work? No, that's even worse. Okay. Description. Now I wonder how we can render the fix this up. So we can just use dangerously set in a HTML and then we get this. So it's gonna just inject the HTML there. Obviously it's a dangerous method, so you don't wanna use that all the time. But we also need to fix this hydration issue, which is super annoying. Um, I don't want, yeah, I wanna suppress the hydration warning because that's just annoying me. I don't care if it doesn't match. Hey. How do you suppress this? You can silence by to the L R equals. Yeah, that should work. I wonder why that's not working. 
Expected server HTML to contain a matching A in div. Which one's that? Is it this one? No. Did not expect server HTML to contain a P in div. Brother, can you just, let's, can we, can we just suppress all of this? Oh man, sometimes I just hate this stuff. It's annoying. Um, um, let's try this little fun hack. Import use effect use to state from React. And then we're going to say if is client. I wonder. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, that's annoying. But anyway, let's see. I want to see if I can do it without the opening tag. No, that doesn't work. All right. So you have to use this is client hack, which is super dumb. But anyway, so now we're getting out episode link listen on spotify listen on spotify click on that boom click on that boom and away we go so that's really cool so what we've just done there is added the ability to pass an rss feed from our spotify podcast and pulled it straight into here with that library which is sick it was made it so easy within two minutes just set up ready to go and then we've done a few little we've just added this custom custom field for the description so we can get that we're dangerously setting the inner html to make sure that that all works and there we go so now our podcast channel is alive and kicking and it's got the latest episodes so we can just have a look there so maybe we should even write that there chuck the little latest episodes above here just so it doesn't look funny so we can just say latest episodes and then we just go doom we're going to say size equals eh, perfect latest episodes we can probably drop this down here so i'm going to grab the same heading where we loop through all this stuff we're going to say subscribe and we're going to make that there and this, these are going to just be small there we go subscribe Latest episodes, subscribe, boom, boom, boom. And also don't forget to subscribe to this channel as well as this channel so you can get all our latest updates and keep up to date with us. So hopefully you enjoyed that one. That was a quick one and I'll catch you on the next one.